I'm staying at a place in the middle of nowhere where there are very few superchargers and the dryer plug is a NEMA 1430 and the Tesla plug I have is a 1030 so I had to make an adapter for it I could have ordered a plug but it would have arrived after I left and went back home and I don't want to pay for overnight shipping so I just went to Home Depot and I bought the part myself so I'm, I'm putting it together in the Home Depot parking lot just to make sure I have all the parts I need. I don't need to go back and get more stuff. So I'm sitting in my Tesla right now. And I connected one of the hots and the neutral. And you got to make sure they line up correctly with the little notch. And the screws have to be on the right side so everything fits in together and nothing shorts out. And so here you see the uh, hot and the neutral. And I'm going to do the next hot. Now I have other tools, but I found my pocket knife is, you know, just as good, works just fine. Just cut around the wire and then strip it off. Although I could probably do it faster with a, with a wire stripper, but, you know, it's what I had. Gotta make sure the screws are tight so it doesn't flip out if the cord gets pulled. And it all fits in. And it will close and you put some more screws in and then you're done with that part. So next you gotta do the 1030 uh, receptacle. The receptacle is basically the same idea as the plug. You put the two hots on the sides and the neutral in the middle. And for some reason when they cut the wire for me, they cut uh, some of them longer than others, so I had to cut it again so they would all fit. I think they charged me the same price for, for all of them, so it worked out. Now you just gotta strip the wire off, or the coat, the cover off, and then um, you know, put in the screw, screw it down tight, and then you're good to go. I have this sped up 400% because you don't want to watch me you know, screwing wires and cutting, stripping wires for, you know, 10 minutes, so I made it go a little faster. Nice thing about leather, man, is you have all your tools right in your pocket. You got your screwdriver, your cutter, your stripper. This is what the finished product looks like. You got your hot wire, neutral, and then the second hot. And on the plug, there is a ground wire, but that's not being used because there is no ground on the receptacle. So it's just a hot wire, a second hot wire, and a neutral wire. You don't even need to have the ground wire in there, but it's just better to have it so the plug doesn't fall out, but that, that doesn't get connected to anything. And you can just 
just take them out, put them back in. If you need to change the plug, um, you can also use a different connection. So now I'm putting the covers back on. receptacles there is just one screw in the middle so this is what the outlet looks like on the old uh, the old dryer outlet it has a fourteen thirty Oh no, I'm sorry, that is, uh, yeah, it is a 1430. And this is what all my Tesla plugs look like. I have the 50 amp, and I have the 30 amp. And then I also have the, uh, you see the 30 amp has the same uh, L-shaped uh, blade. Then I have the regular um, standard, I think that's a 10 or 15 amp, but that takes about three to four days to fully charge. And so my plug I made matches the 1430, because it's a 1430 plug. So the uh, 1030 fits in the other, uh, and then the 1030 fits in the receptacle. I'm getting these all these mixed up now. <laughs> so I'm gonna plug that in. And in a moment, we will see if the house burns down. So pro tip, if you ever rent an Airbnb, make sure they have a dryer. That way you can charge your car and you won't pay for electricity. So, so far that lights up. It's uh, coming on okay. The charge door opens. And it turns blue and it turns green, so we're good there. And I am charging. So it's 24 amps. Yeah, it's never quite what it says. It's, it should be 30 amps, but it's only 24 amps. So I'll have my car charge in three hours, 20 minutes. And you see it's charging. And just for fun, I have my clamp meter with me. I wanted to see what it looks like. So testing, testing one hot wire getting about 18 amps it kind of goes up to 20 between 18 and 20 amps so then I go over to the next one In neutral wire it shouldn't have anything because it's you know, the two hot wires are um, alternating, so that should be zero, and I guess it is. And so the uh, other hot wire, that's 23 amps, so there's a little, um, it's a little unbalanced for some reason. And I'm not an electrician or an engineer, so I don't know why it's doing that. And just for fun, do, get them both. It should be zero, because they should be uh, alternating at the same time. And it's about 0 0.4 amps. And that is how you make a NEMA 1430 to NEMA 1030 adapter.